So next up, I wanna make the edit item page. We could do this in a few ways. We could take the add shopping item page and we could conditionally maybe display a different form, but I'm just gonna keep things simple and make an entirely different page. So once again, let's head over to our terminal and say Ionic generate page. And this time it's going to be called the edit shopping item page. Don't forget you may need to restart Ionic lab if you find that your application no longer works. So what I want to do is then head over to our home.html and make the ion item look a little bit more appealing. The way that we can do this is by adding a detail-push attribute to this ion item. What this then does is give us this little button here that we can then select. And when we select this, I want to navigate the user to the edit or even the detail page. For now, we will just simply send them to the edit page, but in the future, I do want to create a detail page which allows us to get a particular shopping item. So let's do a nav push, and that will be to the edit shopping item page. And now we'll have to pass through a nav params. So nav params are simply nav parameters that we can send across to our new page, and it allows us to identify this item. I'm surrounding it here inside of these brackets and that's because we'll be using the item from ng4. So the let item here, and I'll be placing this inside of a JavaScript object. This just allows us to reference it a little easier inside of the next page. So I'm simply going to say that this is an object with the key of item and the value is going to be that item that we've selected. So over at our edit shopping item.ts inside of the ion view did load, I'm simply going to console.log this.navparams.get and we want to get that item. So if we've done everything correctly so far, we should get the item inside of the console when we select this item. Let's open up our console and select the iPhone 10. As you can see here, we have the key for this item. We then also have the name, the price, and the quantity. We may want to fix the price and quantity types because at this point in time, they are actually strings, but we'll do that in a future lecture. So we now have access to this item. Let's display it on screen and perform an edit. So our edit shopping item page should now have the title of item and we'll say question mark because we don't quite know what the item will be at runtime dot name. This just allows us to navigate to this page without the application breaking. Let's also add the color of primary to our navbar. So how do we get access to this item? Well, what we need to then do is inside of the edit shopping item page, we need to create an item of type item. Don't forget to import the model for this. And when the view will load, we can set this.item equal to this.navparams.get and we want to get that item. So what is up next? Well, what I then want to do is take the add shopping item view and I want to take all of the ion items inside of the content and simply add it to this ion content. Instead of add, I'm going to call this save and we'll create a different method called save item. But the functionality will be quite similar. So if we go back over to our edit shopping item, we can call this save item. And if we restart our application and select iPhone 10 once again, you can see that we now have iPhone 10, quantity one and price 999. This time we have the save button at the bottom and the title of this item at the top here. Notice if we change this to something like iPad Pro, it does reflect this in the title because it's bound to the same thing as our NG model. So to create this save item function, I wanna head back over to our service. And this service will have a function called edit item. We can pass through an item like so. And we can perform an update by saying return this.shoppinglistreference.update. 
by using the item dot key and then passing through the item. So what this does is it updates the item that we've selected based on the key. So if we save this file and head back over to our edit shopping item, we then need to add a private shopping of type shopping list service. Don't forget to import this. And remember this comes from our services folder, like so. And then our edit shopping item then becomes this dot shopping dot edit item and pass through that item. So let's make save item, take an item of type item. And when this has completed, we can simply say this dot nav control dot set root and put the root back to the home page. So this one has been slightly long. So let's click our iPhone 10. Let's instead change this to be iPhone 10 plus hit save. Notice how if we never get back to our shopping list, we have the iPhone 10 plus. If we refresh this, we still have this item and that's because it's been committed to the database. So coming up next, what I want to do is create a toast service. This will allow us to display messages each time we save an item, edit an item, delete an item and so on.